Michael Snook and I run NIMBY. NIMBY is a collective space where the artists can work together. It's funded entirely by artists and entrepreneurs. The idea is by sharing the rent of the entire space and the tools, we can all work together and have tools that we can't normally afford to maintain. Hi, I'm Super Dave. I work with Mike Snook here at NIMBY and we're a 65,000 square foot facility and we're reaching out for some help to get our, get our heads above water. We repurpose a lot of material here. In fact, almost all the material has been repurposed. And we're at the point now where we need to clear up some past debts and pick up some new equipment, new materials, maintenance supplies, and uh, expand. And that's where we need your help. Now, what makes NIMBY unique is we intentionally mix it up. We have painters and mechanics and uh, we get leather workers. Every walk of creativity you can imagine. What that does is it's a giant resource. Everywhere you turn in this place, there's either something you can use in your art piece, like the life-size mousetrap here, or, or just you know any item, or plenty of help, too. There's a lot of skill involved here. Super Dave and Snook, there's a lot of smart people around. And I like the fact that there's always somebody here who can answer a question if I don't know how to get something accomplished. So many different mediums and so many different artists under one roof, it's uh, always an inspiration. If you ever need anything, someone's there to help you, uh, and then you do the same just because it's kind of, that's the way Nimby is. And, and Snook's a great guy. He treats you fair. All right, we've made it to 10 years. That's a long time for an art space, especially one funded by the artists. We have a lot of great equipment here. The uh, CNC router's been sitting for a year, waiting to be wired in and vented in. We have uh, exhaust hoods that we want to put in. We have our new art gallery. We're to the point where we're getting ready to put the lighting in the art gallery. And once we have that in place, then we rent the stuff out and we start gaining income off of that. My goal with this fundraiser is to get out of debt and get back on top of things. Your donations will go a long ways towards keeping NIMBY running another 10 years. And in another 10 years, we may come back and bug you for some more money. It'll be worth it. You'll see a lot that comes out of here. Let's get out of debt and get back on our feet. And uh, we'll just keep making good things happen. Wow, well, if NIMBY didn't exist, uh, I would be in a world of hurt. Uh, I would be in a very tight spot. I'd be stuck working in my closet at home. Stuck in your own little world. I don't know where I would work. It would rob me of a lot of creative space. I would have a lot of ideas in my head and nothing to show for it. California would be a wasteland. It would just be really missed. It'd be a lot. Oh, if NIMBY were to disappear? I don't know. I'd be fucked if there was no place like NIMBY. The question is, if spaces like NIMBY didn't exist, what would I do? And the answer is less. I would do a lot less because I wouldn't have the resources, I wouldn't have the availability, I wouldn't have the machinery, I wouldn't have the uh, materials, and I wouldn't have the epicenter to uh, find other people to collaborate with and to get to work like slaves on my projects for free. Thank you, NIMBY, for that one. <laughs> Nothing is for free. We need your help. Please donate. Thank you. <laughs>